Hello everyone. Today we are going to begin with module 4 that is website planning and development with the focus on types of websites. As I already discussed with you that website is the backbone of digital marketing. Therefore, it becomes very essential for every digital marketer to have a fair idea about website development before he begin the journey of digital marketing. In this module, firstly I will focus on explaining various types of websites and then i will outline various phases of website planning and development process after the completion of this module you will be able to define various types of websites and you will be having a fair idea about various phases of website planning and development process along with the terminology used in website development before i explain various types of websites it is very essential to understand what is a website and how does it work now let me explain it in a very simplified form in layman's language a website is a collection of web pages stored on a web server these web pages are accessible on a request to the user through the web browser installed on various devices like desktop laptop tab or mobile phone not impressed with the meaning of website okay let me explain it differently let us try to understand it with the help of this visual suppose you have the content or information that you want to share with the rest of the world what will you do you will simply upload your content to a common place called server and your content will be called your website but are you the only one who have uploaded content to the server no there can be millions of persons or organizations who have uploaded the content to the server then how will you identify which content belongs to you very simple you will give a name to your content and that name in internet terminology is called domain name or simply the address of your website now a person sitting 1000 miles away from you wants to access your content how will he access it very simple he will simply request the content by typing the address of your website that is the domain name of your website in the browser by using his laptop or mobile phone or tablet or any other similar device the request will be sent to the server and the server will locate the content after locating the content the server will render back the content to the person who has requested it in his browser and that is it how website work now let us discuss various types of websites websites can broadly be classified into two types the first one is performance based website and the second one is purpose based websites performance based websites are usually classified on the basis of how websites are designed and presented various types of performance based websites are static website dynamic websites mobile websites responsive websites let us discuss them one by one a static website as the name suggest A static website is a very simple and basic website and is designed using html pages without any scripting the content of static website is fixed unless it is modified by the webmaster here the webmaster is a person who develops and manages the website that means the content on static website is the same for every user irrespective of his identity location and time look at this website playworksmanchester.co.uk dedicated to kids care it looks very simple having kids care related content on various pages each tab like about us is having a fixed content which is same for all the users whether i or anyone else is browsing it either from india or from anywhere in the world similarly 
other types like kids zone breakfast after school club is having a static or fixed content which doesn't change frequently unless modified by the user look at another example i have just opened the website of my university that is punjab university the content or the information is organized into various tabs like about punjab university admission hostels research scholars departments etc if i click on department and centers and further on university business school here you can see that the information about university business school is same for everyone whether i am browsing it or you are browsing it it's a good example of static website those static websites are very simple to design but these are again in demand because of the issues concerning privacy and security you must be wondering are there any types of website where the content of website changes according to the location user or time yes there are such type of websites and these websites are called dynamic websites in case of dynamic websites information on page is not fixed that is it changes according to the user time of the day country or other factors now little bit technical such websites contain client side scripting or server side scripting to generate the changing content or a combination of both scripting types these types of scripting help in changing the content according to the request for more clarity look at these websites i have just logged in to my facebook account do you think this page would be same for everyone no this page is unique to me and showing me the content that is exclusive to me at this point of time if i will refresh this page you will notice that the content has changed immediately that makes it dynamic website similarly i logged into my amazon account it shows me my location recent orders top picks up for me the items i viewed the product recommendations product based on my browsing history my recent views item this page will not be the same for every amazon user that is why it's a dynamic website similarly my twitter account shows information specific to my interest or to whom i am following these websites are good examples of dynamic websites few years back when usage of mobile phones for accessing internet increased a need was felt to design a website for mobile phones as a result two versions of same websites were developed one each for desktop and mobile phone mobile phone versions were referred as mobile websites two different domain names were used one for each of the desktop and mobile phone devices the content on both the websites were managed differently and there was often mismatch in the content of two different websites that is a website on desktop and a website on mobile phone however with the introduction of responsive websites mobile websites are not very much in use actually with the advancement in technology there are many devices having different screen sizes which a user can use to access the internet these devices may be mobile phone laptop tablet or a tablet but there is one challenge and this challenge is for the webmaster to develop a single website for all types of screen sizes to overcome this challenge website developers have decided to develop a single website that website is known as a responsive website a responsive web design is an approach where a designer create a web page that responds to or resizes itself depending on the type of the device it's being seen through 
a webmaster develop one website with one domain only, the same website is visible on all the devices. Therefore, there is no question of content mismatch on various devices. Look at this. This is a desktop version of Apple's website presenting information about various products and services. Let me resize it and see what will happen. Have you noticed that content has adjusted automatically depending upon the size of the window? Let me repeat it. You can see the content is adjusting automatically and fitting best to the window size. This is an example of responsive website. Look at Microsoft's website. There are two different images in the slider. When I resize it, but the size of the images changes automatically along with the rest of the content. Now look at non-responsive website. When change the size of the content is not changing automatically and you can see it here. So this was discussion on websites based on performance. In the next video, I will discuss with you the various types of websites based on the purpose.